of the new features of the Outlook client in Office 2010 is the ability to create workflow functions called Quick Steps in that it can be used over and over again to help you become a little bit more pro productive in working with your uh, email messages. With the introduction of the ribbon in the Outlook, Microsoft is hoping that you will find yourself becoming more efficient in getting your work done, and the ribbon is designed to consistently have the same look as other parts of the Microsoft Office product line. If you look to the right side of the bar, you have functions for searching for contact. In the center are your action buttons to apply uh, s some kind of action on the Outlook item. In the center is the productiv productivity functions, and at the center of that are your quick steps. The quick steps section is an extension of the rules that were defined in earlier versions of Outlook. The primary difference between rules and quick steps are that quick steps are activated manually and rules are usually uh, applied automatically to new incoming messages. Now let's take a quick look at this. The first step that we, that we need to do is to uh, tell it that we would like to create a new message. And you notice I have a quick step button to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that and up will pop a dialog box. Now I'm going to create a quick step uh, macro that will allow me to mark a message that's in as a message I want to get back to to help me to reference uh, maybe a future blog posting or something along those lines. So I'm going to call this mark as a blog research. The next thing I needed to do is I needed it to move this icon or move this message to a new folder. And the folder I'm going to send it to is blogging and newsletter notes. I want to apply another action to it and the next action I'm going to apply to it is going to be to categorize this message as a uh, with a category that I that I want to uh, be a, a blog project. So I've marked it as a blog project, and the third is to put a time frame on it. And in this case, I'm going to flag the message and tell it that I don't have a specific date. So. three steps I'm going to have it apply to the message uh, as I'm reading down through them. First is that I'm going to move it to a new folder, I'm going to categorize it as a blog message, and then I'm going to flag it with no date. And the reason I'm flagging it is so that it shows up in my task list and that'll be something I can come back to very quickly and say, okay, what's a new subject I might want to work on uh, for my blog articles. You have two more fields that are available to you to work with, and one of them is a shortcut key. Now you have the ability to define up to nine shortcut keys, and they're defined as a combination of control shift and a number, the number be, being somewhere between one and nine. Obviously you can only define nine of your quick steps, so decide very carefully which ones that you want to give a uh, as a quick keyboard uh, function. The next uh, area that you can can fill in is the tooltip text and this will pull up a little quick message bar that, that tells you uh, what the quick step does. So whatever you want to put in there I can say that this will move the message to oh my blog folder and categorize as a blog sub subject and 
flag as text, flag as uh, no date. And I'll hit finish and you'll see up at the top here that I have Marcus blog. Now I have a message already uh, highlighted so if I click on it first thing should happen is that it disappears because it was moved. So let's go to my blog uh, folders which are under there it is. So if I highlight that you'll see that there's that CNET, CNET message and uh, it has indeed been categorized as blog projects and the only thing that we're not seeing is whether or not it's been flagged or not. So let's take a look at tasks and it shows that it was marked Google launches new Twitter as no date and it was under blog projects so let's go back to tasks and see if we can find it then Oh, there it is so I'm just wasn't seeing the mail message very, very clearly and there you have it uh, categorized and set up and made available for you to work with.